welcome to day two of eating a different diet than usually. Um, I found out yesterday that it might not be that many things that I need to change to be completely paleo. Um, eating paleo is basically eating like they did in the old days, like in the in the hunter and gathering age. And and if you could find it in the nature, you could eat it. Um, there are some things that are on the like gray stone, like um, starchy vegetables and um, dairy and stuff like that but let's just see how it goes usually I don't eat dairy um, or not that much so yeah so it's not that much that I need to do differently I will of course not eat the um, eat the refined carbs and and stuff like that but I was researching a little bit yesterday and some of the things that complete like paleo diets do or like the really strict ones are maybe missing out on some vitamins that you can get from from good foods um, so basically eating paleo is eating whole foods and like I said just kind of healthy not refined sugars or refined carbs or um, processed meats and stuff like that so I will do my very best to uh, try skip that <sighs> the reason for this experiment is um, you, you see all over social media and the classical media, the magazines and everything that, that people are going on different diets and trying to lose weight. But the main goal for this experiment is not to lose weight per se. Like some of us want to lose a few kilos, some don't. Um, but I think the main reason is to show that all these different diets work in a different way and they all work because of um, if you create this caloric deficit that you want to be in to lose weight um, but mostly this is just an experiment to see how we feel doing this five week challenge and and in that way we're gonna see how if we're gonna implement it in our daily life or if we just try it for five weeks and think well that was fun but i don't really want to do it more so let's just see how it goes and yeah we all live in different places so we're not gonna film like what we eat in a day all together we're just gonna put clips in and um, to show basically our breakfast lunch and dinners or whatever we want or talk about the the, the diet how it goes and stuff like that So basically what I am having for breakfast is an egg white omelet and an egg and some salad that I had mixed up and saved in my fridge from yesterday and some fried mushrooms and then I put some dressing on the salad because a salad without dressing is boring and that dressing is made of um, tahine and lemon almond milk and salt and pepper so basically i just finished my breakfast that i just showed you and i'm still hungry so i got some dairy-free yogurt and some homemade granola and some raisins and i'm gonna snack them um, i cut up two apples a green one and a red one one sour and one sweet and then I put some almond butter in here. Usually I would use peanut butter, but since peanuts are not 
allowed on the paleo diet i chose almond butter and then i'm just gonna have this as a snack just apples and almond butter very easy because so this is snack number two just some granola and blueberries and almond milk and chia seeds Felix, the one doing the bodybuilder lifestyle and diet, trying that for the next five weeks. And I wanted to tell you about a bit about it. Um, it's been four days now. Uh, I haven't gotten sick of eating yet, which is nice, because <laughs> the diet itself consists of mainly proteins and greens and then a couple of carbs with it. But you eat a lot a day. It's six, six meals, kind of. Um, I've prepared them for you. I was just shopping for the next couple of days. Um, it's fairly easy to do, but I'm shocked of how much, uh, how much money I'm spending on food at the moment. Uh, I still got to figure that out though. Um, how much I'm, or like, I gotta, gotta optimize it, uh, what I'm buying and I'm going to show you in a minute, uh, what I eat. Okay. So I left out breakfast and the last snack, um, breakfast is basically just oats, protein powder, some peanut butter, and then a banana. Um, and the last snack is more or less just egg whites. <laughs> Sounds boring, but yeah. Now, the first snack consists of two eggs and 200 grams of greens, which I eat around three hours after I had my breakfast. Then the second meal is gonna be 150 grams of meat, any kind of meat, 200 grams of greens, and 80 grams of rice. Then the second snack, also again, three hours after the second meal, is gonna be 200 grams of greens, two eggs, and roughly 200 grams of a sweet potato. And the third meal is again, 150 grams or 200 grams of meat, 200 grams of greens, and 80 grams of rice. Hi guys, so our status on the first week of the 5-2 diet is that my first day of fasting went terrible. I didn't complete the day with only a 500 calories intake. So today it's Monday and I have had my second first day of fasting. And today I have completed with around 500 calories and for breakfast I had a banana and an apple a little later and throughout the day I have been drinking water and coffee uh, because there's no calories in it so it was okay but I've been hungry and now it's um, 7 p.m. and I uh, have just been eating my dinner uh, which was two slices of homemade pizza from yesterday so it's around five or six hundred six hundred calories today and now I'm going to complete the day with water and maybe some tea and um, yes this was the first week it went bad but the next week is gonna be better i hope so stay tuned all right so the first week is done i think it went very well i have not sinned yet i've uh, been going for a weekend and uh, 
it's not as difficult as I expected actually. I think in today's age there is a lot of vegan options um, for general things you need to substitute. Um, but also in general if you are somewhat creative in the kitchen it's not that difficult. Um, but even now with all the different vegan options even if you're not that creative or you don't have the time or you want to put in the effort there is just a vegan option or some quick food that you can just put in the oven. Um, I think I feel good uh, after you've eaten. I think the main thing which I've also heard about other people going vegan is that you don't feel tired after eating which is very nice especially uh, when I'm at work when usually after lunch <coughs> I would need to go and get coffee right after lunch to be able to do some work, otherwise I'd feel very tired. But these couple of times I've been to work this week, I've felt great just after lunch and been ready to go to work as well. And then you can have your coffee maybe later in the, in the afternoon instead of straight after lunch. So I think, I mean, in general, I will probably <coughs> recommend everyone and also myself that if you have to do something right after a meal, or you have to concentrate or do something active, I would uh, recommend eating some vegan food or at least some I don't know I think it's probably about digestion so I mean maybe meat is more difficult to digest I don't really know the gist of it but I think with the vegan meals I've been feeling very energized after eating instead of feeling tired and that's probably the main thing I'm feeling so far I also think economically it's been I think I spent less money on food actually because if you swap meat with beans or something it's like a quarter of the price so uh, if you eat a lot of beans and lentils and some of the more cheaper stuff then you actually end up saving money you just have to spend a little more time in the supermarket thinking what can i eat what can i not but in terms of money i actually think i'm saving money on, on the diet so far so i think it's going great we'll see next week if there is some cravings and uh, what i can do to uh, find some substitutes for it but yeah it's going great so far no, but what is my resume of the week? It is that it's hard. Like the first couple of days were nice. I got in every meal, more or less, and it was clean. But it's hard if you meet up people in the evening and you just eat whatever. Eat pizza, burgers, bolognese. Um, and what else is difficult if you wake up too late? And then you would ter theoretically need to eat your last meal at around 11 in the evening or 12, which is just not possible for me, kind of. <laughs> or I just skipped it. I haven't tried it actually eating at 12.30 in the, in the night. But that's the most difficult thing, like getting in literally all your meals. Um, four or five is, is okay, but six is hard. And it's not like you're eating chocolate, a chocolate bar in the evening. It's like you have 200 grams of rice and greens and chicken, <laughs> which is nice as well, but not nice <laughs> if you crave something sweet. That is probably my, my resume. Um, and I still need to vary or figure out what I'm buying because I'm spending a lot of money on food at the moment. Um, but yeah, that is my resume. Uh, the first week went by pretty fast and uh, I actually underestimated it a little bit because I was like okay I'm gonna do 16 hours and 8 hours like eating but then I figured out it's a lot so the first day I started like with 15 and like then 15 and a half and I build up on that up of, like about 16 in the end and the thing that is most difficult for me is breakfast because I can, I, can, I can skip dinner and like have tea in the evening, but breakfast is like the first meal of the day and like sets the tone for the whole day, especially if I go to the gym or if I have to go to school, I can do some work. It's really difficult for me to, to do that. So in the beginning I was trying to have dinner and like have really, really late uh, breakfast, like around 12, but then I figured it really didn't work for me. So I started like, like doing it differently and add like, breakfast around nine and I stopped eating around five so I had like a pretty late lunch and so the three meals per day maybe didn't really work and I started doing like maybe two and a snack and then lots of like tea and like herbal teas in the evening and that's what I think works for me but I figured it out like four days into it not like immediately.
and then um, what else? I think like overall, I feel the same way because I already like uh, follow a plant based diet, so it was quite easy not to like um, change anything in my diet like about food, then like be more flexible with that, like with regards to the others. But yeah, I feel pretty good, and I yeah just kept going to the gym and do my regular stuff, so nothing much changed on that. Good.